When you're talking about Linux, everyone is quick to point out that Linux doesn't have Microsoft Office. It's a big part of the Linux desktop's app gap, but there are some solutions there. Most of you probably know of LibreOffice, which is an amazing open source project, but there is another solution which is suitable for individuals and professionals alike, and might just be the best choice out there for Linux, and it's called OnlyOffice. Let's take a look at this Office suite right after this. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Most of you probably know about it, but for those who don't, Skillshare is an online learning platform that has videos and tutorials and courses on every single topic you could imagine. Now, since we're talking about Linux here, there are plenty of courses that you could follow on learning the basics of Linux command line, learning how to administrate a system, become a Linux sysadmin, or just deep dive into some of the features of the Linux kernel. Me personally, I've been learning more about how to make better videos by following this film lighting course on Skillshare. And it's taught me how to use better lighting, how to better frame your videos, and I think the results are showing. Now you guys can also improve your creativity, learn a new hobby, or just basically improve your work skills by using Skillshare. Now Skillshare is very simple to use and very affordable, your account is free, and if you want to get offline downloaded courses, or if you want to deep dive into some of the courses that Skillshare offers, you can subscribe for as little as $8 a month. Now the first thousand subscribers that click on the link will get for a limited time a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So head over there, click on the link and start improving your creativity. So what is OnlyOffice? OnlyOffice is an open source office suite developed by Asensio System, a company based in Riga in Latvia. It was created at first to handle internal collaboration for companies, but was quickly introduced to the general public and was well received. The Office Suite uses the HTML5 Canvas feature and boasts an impressive compatibility with most document formats out there, including the infamous OpenXML used by Microsoft Office. It's not just your basic word processor, spreadsheet and presentation modules though. These are of course available online or offline, but you also get access to a complete CRM, a project management module, a webmail and calendar and an internal social network. OnlyOffice is suitable for companies, but also for individuals, and they obviously have a Linux version available for their desktop editor. So how do you get it? There are multiple ways to get access to OnlyOffice. First, you can download their desktop editor, which will serve as your Office suite installed on your computer. They provide it in app image form, which ensures that any distro will be able to make use of it, and the file itself is pretty light, less than 250 megabytes. You can also get a deb, an RPM, a snap or a flat pack, so basically whatever distro you're using, you can get access to it. The desktop editors only include the word processor, the spreadsheet and the presentation module. If you want to get access to the whole suite, you can go with the cloud service or self-host your own only office document server. This will unlock the webmail and calendar, the CRM, the projects management tool and the internal social network. This is obviously more suited for companies than for individuals. These self-hosted or cloud versions can be linked to desktop editors though, so you can get access to anything you saved in the cloud right on your desktop. Those cloud services or self-hosted versions aren't free though, and will currently set you back at least 66 euros per year for one user, which is in the ballpark of a Microsoft Office 365 subscription, although with less cloud storage, 20 gigabytes instead of one terabyte, and less tools since you don't get an equivalent to OneNote, Publisher or Access. So what can it do? OnlyOffice is a very capable Office suite. First, the basic modules are highly compatible with Microsoft Office documents. Compared to other options like LibreOffice or Google Docs, it just handles any type of document like a champ, and it even has better compatibility with Microsoft Office formats than Microsoft Office Online. There are no formatting issues, no loss of data, and the interoperability is simply amazing. Documents that LibreOffice failed to open or display correctly were just flawless in OnlyOffice, and that's a big achievement in and of itself. OnlyOffice can also open and edit Microsoft Office auto shapes instead of just displaying them like basic images, and inline charts and tables inside of text documents can also be edited directly from the word processor, which is a nice plus. It works with plenty of file formats, including the open document format that LibreOffice uses, so you're not losing access to anything, and it can export to PDF easily. The interface is ribbon-based, like Microsoft Office, so users won't feel too lost there, and you can open multiple documents in a single window thanks to tabs on the title bar. Tabs can be dragged out of the main window if you prefer having individual windows to work with, but be careful though, you need to have the main desktop editor window opened, even if there are no documents located in it, 
which is a bit weird. If you close it, every single other window will be closed as well. So in terms of basic features, the word processor supports everything you'd expect. Font and styles formatting, paragraph formatting, margins, page numbering, equations, drop caps, find and replace, it should work for most users there. The spreadsheet module handles functions and formulas, sorting and filtering, and obviously allows you to create charts and format them easily. For more advanced users, macros are supported using JavaScript, so no Microsoft Office macro support here, but you can recreate them if you can handle a bit of JS. As per the presentation module, it has a bunch of themes to get you started. It handles charts, tables, equations, as well as transitions and animations, including applying those in bulk. It also has a presenter mode with notes, which is a required feature for anyone who regularly gives talks or for students. On top of these features, only Office supports document versioning, so you can always get back to an older version, you can track changes, compare documents, and accept or reject the various changes, and all these modules support online collaboration for multi-user editing of a document. You can also extend the capabilities of the suite with third-party add-ons, like adding auto-translation, editing images from inside the document, inserting YouTube videos, or adding images from a clipart gallery. OnlyOffice also supports saving files in the cloud. You can either use your OnlyOffice storage space, if you subscribe to any form of cloud service from them, or use your Nextcloud and own cloud storage. Paid-for versions also integrate with Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, and Yandex Disk. To complete this already excellent roundup, OnlyOffice has Android and iOS apps to open and edit your documents on the go, with touch-friendly interfaces as well. And if you already have a Nextcloud server for your own needs, you probably already know that you can also add your own OnlyOffice document server to run it directly from your Nextcloud interface, which is also pretty fantastic. Now there are some issues, not everything is perfect. First, you cannot use Google Drive, OneDrive, or anything other than Nextcloud or OwnCloud as your storage if you only use the desktop editor. So basically, if you don't subscribe to a paid-for version, then you cannot add Google Drive, you cannot add OneDrive, so, or any other storage service that you might have been using. Second, the interface lacks color a bit. The symbolic icons are not very easy to differentiate, and I much prefer LibreOffice tabbed bar in that regard, since the various buttons and features are more legible, in my opinion. It also doesn't integrate all that well with the Linux desktop, with Windows-like buttons that don't respect your desktop environment. Basically, the title bar does not look like anything that you have on your desktop, and the interface itself doesn't use your desktop menus, like they're not rendered in Qt or GDK, it's a web app. Apart from that, it handled all my documents without any issues. It's fast, it doesn't use much RAM or CPU, and the interface is pretty fluid, especially considering this is a web application. If you haven't given OnlyOffice a try yet, I encourage you to do so. It's a great option that integrates well, and if you need a full-blown Office 365 or Google Docs alternative that's open source and not tied to a big company, then it's basically your only choice out there, and a pretty good one too. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't hesitate to like and dislike if you didn't. You can also subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to receive more videos like this one. And if you really enjoyed the video and you want to help support the channel, you can also join my amazing Patreon subscribers and YouTube members and get access to a monthly Patreon cast and the right to vote on the next topics I'll cover in my videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!